let's find out about it. Today we're going to have a lot of fun because we're going to talk about something that I know we really like to talk about in this classroom. Babies and baby animals. Did we have some baby animals in our book today? Kitten, kittens. We had kittens, right? And I want to show you a picture from the book. Remember this picture? Mm -hmm. What do you guys see in this picture? She has a cat in her mouth. A kitten it's white. in her mouth. She has a white kitten and it's in her mouth. Did you guys think that was kind of weird that she was carrying the kitten in her mouth? It looks like it's hurting the kitten. It, it does maybe look like it's hurting the kitten. I wanted to show you this because cats carry their babies in a really special way. They carry them in their mouth. They hold on to the scruff, the back of their neck, with a mama cat's teeth. Oh. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all because the kittens have a lot of extra skin back there. And you know what? We have extra skin in a special place. Can everyone find their elbow? Yeah, that funny thing, what, we got elbow? Feel right behind your elbow. Feel that? Look, see, Agnes has it. Look, there's a lot of extra skin back there. It doesn't really hurt when you pinch there, does it? No, you'd have to pinch really hard for it to hurt. That's kind of how the back of the kitten's neck feels, okay? I also, I have a little kitten today. An elephant. Well, it's a kitten today. <laughs> and you see, I, if I were the mama cat, I would pick it up. Using my, I'm using my fingers because I'm not going to put my mouth on our toy. Germs. Yeah, germs. We don't put our mouth on our toys, right? But right on the back of the neck so I could carry it. I'm going to let each of you take a turn holding the kitten on the back of his neck. And Miss Ruth is going to make sure that everybody gets a turn. Thank you, Nick. And I'll take it because I'm in the middle of my friends. Maraca. Does it have yeah. beans in the inside of it? Mm -hmm. Can I have that back? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's how a mama cat carries their kittens. I have another picture and a different book. I have a different book that I brought today. It's called All About Cats and Kittens. And this book has lots of fun facts about kittens and lots of really pretty pictures. And look, I have another picture. And what's that cat doing? Oh, she's carrying her by the back of the neck, too. Mama cat's carrying the little baby, okay? And at the bottom of this book, it says, this kitten has strayed too far away. She's gone too far away from mommy. Her mother lifts her up by the scruff of her neck. Remember, the back of her neck is called the scruff, to carry her back to her brothers and sisters. Remember in circle time, we just sang about our ducks going too far away? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this little kitten went too far away, so Mama Cat had to bring her back. Like in One Dark Night? Like in One Dark Night, exactly. There's some other pictures of cats and kittens here. Nick, you're close to me. Can you see this one? What's, what's going on there? The kittens are cuddling with their mama. The kittens are cuddling with their mama. Agnes, do you see something in our picture? Um, I think they, they want a drink. You think they want a drink? They might want to drink a yeah. milk? I noticed that their eyes are closed. You see that their eyes are closed? They're sleeping. They're sleeping? Mm -hmm. Their eyes are actually closed because they're so little that they haven't opened yet. They when kittens are eyes. first born, they can't open they their can't eyes. See. They can't see anything. And that's one of the reasons why the mama cat has to carry them around, mm -hmm. because they can't see anything. Our cats in One Dark Night, were their eyes open or closed? They're open. They were open. I think they were open because these cats were a little older. Mm -hmm. These were just first born. So mama has to take care of them because they can't see anything yet. Mm -hmm. So I have another question for you guys. We learned all about cats carrying their kittens in their mouth, but do humans carry their babies in their mouths? No. 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 They don't carry human babies in their mouths. That would hurt, right? Yeah. You have to hold you up picked your me arms. Up. You have to hold on with your arms. I have a baby doll here. Agnes, can you show me? I'm sorry, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> can you show me how people hold their babies? Like, how would you hold your like baby? Like this. They do. They hold them in their arms. Can you or pass like her this, back to after me? you feed it? Oh, remember like in um, Noisy Nora? We burped the baby up here on our shoulder. Mm -hmm. Want everybody to take a chance holding the baby. Um, and remember, we have to hold babies really gently because they're fragile, right? They can get hurt. See, Agnes is holding the baby really gently. I see babies gently. in backpacks sometimes. Sometimes? We're about to talk about that. Can you pass the baby to Miss Ruth, please? Miss Ruth, could you show us how we hold a baby up on the shoulder yeah. and we're burping? Miss Ruth is going to burp our baby, and I want to show you. Agnes just brought up that sometimes we need to hold babies, but we need our hands, right? We need to hold the baby, but we have to push the cart in the store. 
right, when we go shopping or we need to wash dishes. So sometimes people use a scarf or a shawl or a wrap to hold a baby. Could I have the baby back, mm -hmm. Miss Ruth? I'm going to show you. I'm going to hold my baby in a really special way here. I'm going to wrap this fabric that I have around the baby and tie it so that I can have my hands free to keep talking to you, but I can still hold the baby. See, look. The baby right here. What if he falls? What, what if the baby falls? The baby won't fall. I have him nice and secure right here. And then I still have my hands free. And I can talk to you guys, and I can pass you things. Okay? Sometimes people carry babies without, with their hands free too, just like the cat did. Remember, she could still run with the kitten in her mouth. So now I have some pictures of baby animals and, and baby people being carried in different ways. And I'm going to give some of them to Miss Ruth. Agnes, can you go with Miss Ruth and talk about those pictures? And I have some here for my friends, and we can all talk about babies and the way that they're carried. It's real. It is Rue. Yeah, there's a kangaroo with a baby in its pouch. That's how my dad holds my That's baby brother. Your dad holds your baby brother like that? Yeah. Yeah, over his shoulder? Yeah. Yeah. That way he maybe only has one arm. Mm -hmm. My brother always falls asleep when my dad holds him. Yeah, I think they like to fall asleep when they're being held. We're going to go ahead and stop.